Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV's Divine Timing Tarot for today. Now, we're going to do a longer reading today and I'm going to be looking into past, present and near future of a matter, an event that might be affecting you. So take it as it resonates and we'll see what the cards have to say to you in terms of what energies are available. So think of something before you, we start, before you and I start, let's um, take a deep breath in and a breath out and connect to the cards, connect to divine timing and think about a question or something that you would like an answer or you would like a reading on and then uh, allow the cards to speak to you. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to look into the past, present and near future, not, not too far. And at the same time, um, I will be taking three cards for each moment. So, um, but before we start, remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. So without further ado, let's start. I will take, I already shuffled the cards and just before I do the reading, I just would like to know that today I'm using the Light Spears Tarot card by Chris Sam. So, you know, in case you're wondering. And one of my favorite decks. So I'll shuffle a little bit more. Three cards representing the past or whatever you call past. First card is, ooh, the Five of Pentacles. Whatever you are going through right now, you are either feeling left out, abandoned, or even like a bit depressed. So take it as it resonates, but it is a card that brings a little bit of energy of uh, poverty consciousness, lack. So anything that you're facing right now, just watch out for the energies, negative energies that you might be thinking of not good enough or disempowerment. But I see and I feel more an energy of abandonment and, and kind of not being looked after. So bear with me, I'm going to take the second card so we can see what complements this card. Ten of Swords. Now, this card in this deck, as you can see, is a representation that all your burdens are actually about to leave. But because this card is connected to the past and is also connected to the fact that you were feeling abandoned and not looked after or even isolated, ghosted, this is a card that actually shows that that energy is now, it either has been lifted or you're on your way to lifting it. So uh, trust in the universe that this it will be done and this has been done. So let me take another card to complement the past energies. And yes, again, the Ten of Swords. So, sorry, the Ten of Wands. So these three cards, and I'll put this one here, these three cards now represent your story of, of your event. So it feels like you have been carrying a lot and for a long time. You have done the whole journey, but you have completion of the journey. You have the Ten of uh, Wands and the Ten of Swords here. So, and they are all, as you can see, uh, the Ten of Swords, you're lifting the, the, the burden is going away. And also you probably found someone or uh, people who came to your help, came to help you to get out of this situation because now you have the problem shared. As you can see, she's not carrying it anymore she is actually sharing it with the donkey. So there's always hope, the card's on the floor, there's always hope for every situation that you have. So if your situation in the past seemed a bit doom and gloom, there's always hope. So let's look at the energies that you have right now at the present. So we take the first one. Ooh, definitely something happened. And maybe changes have come in very suddenly or they're about to come and provoke a change. Maybe a 360, uh, 180 degrees um, change, maybe for the better. It looks like for the better based on the cards that we, I just read for you. Let's see what second card we have and what more information can we get. 
oh, this is a situation that has been bothering you, it's been coming from the past, maybe with someone, maybe a loved one that you have had issues in the past, or maybe with yourself, now this is causing big changes, huge changes. So that nostalgia, that, that nostalgic feeling that you might be having for the past, you might have to let it go so things can change. But let's see what's the third card that complements the energy right now. Yes, time to rest, time to take a respite. So after all this journey of maybe pain, suffering, um, carrying burdens or being feeling really, really down and depressed, all that negative feeling is shifting and um, lifting so something really really important and drastic is going to happen or it has already happened for some of you and this is something to do with someone from the past but all is good and proper if you decide to look after yourself go into your cave and allow time to heal so this is the cards for um, <clears throat> the present moment and i just saw the sun at the bottom of the deck so that means you are, your um, hope is with the sun, so which is the happiest card in the deck. So let's see where we go for the near future. Bear in mind that the sun is holding your space with a lot of happiness in store. So let's see. Yes, brand new beginning. The universe is offering you a brand new beginning in the physical world and lots of hopes and lots of new opportunities, especially in career or work, opportunities to move on to something new. So now I am going to take the second card. Oh, we have Page of Cups in reverse. Now the Page of Cups in reverse means that still you might not, although you have a brand new, new beginning here, but it's not um, romantic. It's probably career or family or um, some sort of project that you were involved with. So that's where you're going in direction. Right now, if any of you were hoping that this reading would be about romance and love, no, it is love for your work, love for your purpose, but mostly for work or career. So let's see the last, the, yes, two of wands. You've been sitting there and waiting, but actually, if you look really close, you already have what you need because the world is right at your feet. So with these three cards, the, the reading comes to a close and an end, saying that you're gonna have brand new opportunities and if you decide to take them and you decide to actually let go maybe of past romantic relationships that are not working for you or relationships of love and family that are not working for you, this is more for you to focus on your career and your work. Things, if you have patience, things will happen for you. So I hope this resonates with you. I'm going to take one last card and at the bottom of the deck you've got the Ace of Wands, brand new beginning in purpose. So with lots of passion and lots of enthusiasm. Yes, there we go. Last one, just as an advice, yes, rejoice. Start being happy, start enjoying yourself, go out, be um, happy and be joyful and celebrate anything that's going on in your life because you are definitely up for a brand new beginning with enthusiasm, passion, confidence and the universe also providing you with all the opportunities that you need. So this is what I have in store for you today. If you, um, if it resonates or if you want to leave us some feedback, please leave comments in the comments box or visit our website or join us in our social media platforms so you never miss an episode of Divine Timing Tarot again. So for now, um, I say see you in a vortex. Thank you. Goodbye.